Ah, the Dell Optiplex, the OG gaming rig. Buy a cheap one online, throw in a graphics card, maybe replace the power supply, and you've got quite the capable gaming rig. Well, all that is over. No longer is the humble Optiplex good enough for modern gaming. A new challenger has entered the ring. This is the Lenovo P520, a workstation PC that not only has a CPU powerful enough for modern gaming, it also has dedicated power cables to plug in most graphics card out of the box. It even has NVMe SSD support. So what's the catch? We'll get to that right after this video sponsor. When you install Windows on your Steam Deck or any other PC for that matter, you're gonna need to activate it to unlock all the settings. Why spend a ton of money for a code when you can use the sponsor of today's video, SCD Key? You can purchase Windows keys at a large discount, and to get 25% off your order, use code JASON, that's J-A-S-O-N, to get 25% off your order. After purchasing, you'll get your code pretty much instantly and be able to unlock your computer's full potential. And remember that all Windows 10 Pro users can upgrade to Windows 11 for free at any time in the future using these keys. Just take your code, go to your Windows activation menu, pop it in, and boom. Windows is activated, and you should be on your way thanks to SCD Key. So this workstation PC has been on my radar for about a year at this point. I've seen a few other creators make videos about it, but I never pulled the trigger myself. The promise is that everything you need is already in here. You just need to toss in a GPU and you'll have a gaming PC that can handle up to 4K gaming. That's impressive. Let's go over what the P520 even is. And as always, links to everything in this video will be down in the description. This Lenovo workstation is pretty big and heavy. It's an ATX size case, but it's on the slimmer side. It has a sturdy handle in the front, so you know Nerd on a Budget is gonna cream over it. We've got the standard I.O. in the front as well as a DVD drive in the disc bay. On the back, we've got everything you'd need to power this bad boy and the substantial amount of USB ports. Many are even 3.0 capable. This is a nice touch as some of the older Optiflex builds I've checked out don't have many or any at all. All right, let's open this puppy up. Inside is pretty standard. We've got some hard drive bays down here, a pretty simple CPU cooler, eight RAM slots, so this was definitely a workstation. And one cool thing I like about it is that it's completely toolless. Removing the power supply, replacing the NVMe SSD, taking the cover off, all can be done without a screwdriver. And yeah, you heard that right. This machine has support for two M.2 NVMe drives. No more SATA for us. We're all grown up, mom. Now the best part of this whole thing is that the power supply provided actually has two dedicated PCIe power cables ready to go. That means you don't need to replace the PSU at all to get this thing gaming. This PC would make a great home server if you wanted to go down that route as well. The CPU I got in the package is a Xeon E2135, which is a six core 12 thread CPU that can boost up to 4.5 gigahertz. That's pretty good and can actually compete with modern CPUs. This chip was released in late 2017, so it's not that old, and the performance is pretty similar to an i7-8700K. But you know, without any overclocking or anything, but it, it's still pretty good. The configuration I bought came with 32 gigs of RAM as well. So we are literally so set to start gaming, multitasking, home labbing, the sky's the limit. There are a lot of different configurations of this on eBay, but I grabbed one that was $170 plus $30 of shipping, equaling out to $200, which is, I feel like, a pretty good deal. But upon closer inspection, I realized that the power supply I was provided was not the 900 watt that the listing promised. It was only 690 watts. I later confirmed this with the seller via some pictures, and they apologized and offered a $20 partial refund to call it square. Sure, I would have loved to have that 900 watt PSU, but 700 watts will be more than enough for what we're doing here today. So after the credit, that brought the price of this bad boy down to only $180. Now the config I bought didn't come with storage, so I just grabbed this 500 gig NVMe drive from MSI on Amazon. It's fast enough and reliable enough to make this modern PC go brr, plus it's only $30, which is an absolute rarity in the current market we're in. Now we just need a GPU and we're literally done. I honestly think I could have gone as high as like a 7700 XT or something and be just fine, but I wanted to keep this relatively budget. I eventually landed on this RTX 3060 Ti, a mid-range modern card that was released at the end of 2020, but can still hold its own today. I got a good deal on this GPU online for $250, but they usually hover around $230. We're gonna try to push this thing as hard as we can, so all of the testing done is going to be done in 1440p. You'd obviously get better frame rates in 1080p, but I'm feeling spicy. And we won't be using DLSS at all today. But honestly, if I was using this as my main PC, you'd better believe I'm using DLSS. It's free frames, baby. I also won't be testing ray tracing, but I imagine it'd be pretty good at 1080p. So after adding up everything, the total for this PC only came out to $425 US. It took like five minutes to install the GPU and SSD, and I'm already ready to game. 
no PSU swapping, no removing of hard drive bays, just ready to go. If you want to recreate this and you have a bigger budget, you can get an RX 6700 XT instead for a little more and probably be able to game just fine. That's an awesome price for a PC that can play in 1440p and even in 4K at some very respectable frame rates. Okay, time to put up or shut up. Let's get everything installed and let's go over some benchmarks. If you don't care too much about aesthetics, or maybe you keep your PC under your desk or something, this is an absolutely amazing deal for some huge performance. I really like how little work went into it, so that anyone without any PC building experience can do it in a really short amount of time. If you have a slightly bigger budget, you can grab a bigger SSD, maybe upgrade the RAM to 64 gigs, or go a little bigger with the GPU. No promises though, as I'm not sure how far you can take this before hitting any bottlenecks. But honestly, a 3060 Ti or a 6700 XT is perfect in this build and can really pump some FPS. This setup now replaces any and all Optiplex build in this price range for me, mostly because of the simplicity and the modern amenities like NVMe drive support and the SD card slot in the front. If you'd prefer to build a PC in this price range that is more custom and upgradable, check out this video here where I built a $450 budget gaming PC that was 100% upgradable and still looked crazy good. Please like the video below if it brought value to you and subscribe for more technology content. My name's Jason. Thanks for watching.